is our third year at De Mexico, and uh, it's really a fantastic place to come and understand what's going on in industry. It's really one of the few places where you get everybody coming from all different parts of the industry together. So you get some really great levels of people coming in, and also it's a super place to not only learn about what's going on, but also to meet people from across the industry. So one of the thematics I always hear is that uh, you know Europe is sort of catching up, right? Both in programmatic and in video, the areas in which you guys specifically play. But I'm hearing in the U.S. that audience guarantees and the desire to serve longer form content are the two big asks now. I can't imagine that being a problem in Europe. So I think audience guarantees are still being demanded in the U.S., but not quite yet in Europe. In terms of where we are with Europe, we have a ways to go still in terms of being able to provide the level of targeting on an audience basis that you see in the U.S., in particular with some of the um, services that, that do do the audience targeting, like Nielsen or Comscore. Um, having said that, audience targeting is growing and it's definitely part of something that we do with all of our clients and it is something that will become more and more important in the landscape here. And what about longer uh, form content? I mean, a brand sort of has to be investing in brand content in order to actually want to serve longer form. Where is that in, in maturation in Europe right now? It's coming as well. I think we're seeing that a lot in terms of the, you know, the demand side. The brand clients are demanding to see or they're starting to look into how they can push this further in Europe. Uh, I think a lot of the learnings are coming over from the U.S., but you're right. It's still it's going to take a bit of time here in Europe. And what do you see to be sort of the biggest problems, you know, the pain points right now within the ecosystem that are going to help, if, if addressed effect effectively, are going to help accelerate the European market for programmatic? Yeah. So I think in terms of programmatic, there's many different ways to look at it. Uh, in one aspect, programmatic is already here, and that's really, you know, talking about automation and real-time decisioning across video. Um, we've seen a big change over the last year to six months, really. And I think from, from a decisioning point of view, we're pretty much there. I think, I think we've, got, we've got the capabilities to go and do audience targeting at scale in a real-time basis. Where we still have a ways to go is, I would say, on the, on the portion of where you have bidded um, kind of pricing happening. Uh, I think that's more developed in the U.S. than it is here in, in Europe. And that's largely because the publishers on the supply side are, you know, it's all something very new to them and they're just learning about it and they will come on board over the next year or so.